Alright, C9 fly, upper bracket, upper bracket finals, winner goes to the grand finals. So what do we got? We got Rennington Lee Sin, we, Huey Senna Karma, Karma bot, Kalista, Renata, Talia, Vi, Gregas, what happened in this draft? How has C9 got four first pick champs? They have Talia, Vi, with Kalista, Renata, versus Lee Sin, Senna Karma? Blue side wins draft quite hard here, no? They should have bot push, mid push, they have top, Gregas is great against Renekton Lee Sin. Why don't you like Fly's comp? I don't know, I... I don't like their bot lane. No, um, I feel like they're playing Senna, Senna Karma Huey. They're playing like double Mage Senna. I don't like that much. I think Mage Senna frontline is better, and Renekton Lee Sin. I think if this draft had Kindred, or Jesus Christ, just report both of them. Berserker and Vulcan are frying them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Oh, Jojo miss, miss combo, but Jojo is frying this guy in mid. I hope Jojo types in all chat. It's good content. I mean, no flash on Senna. Senna's dead if she walks up. Yeah, bye bye Senna, maybe? Nah, maybe not. Yeah, nice flash Q. Really nice. Wow, Blabber smurfed it. It is the top two teams in the LCS. Oh, nice patience by Inspired. And nice patience by the Inspired as well. Yeah, bot dive incoming. Yeah, they're gonna have to back up, I think. They have got TP on Rennington, and they have got a really good time on Rennington to base and catch uh, and TP bot, and I think Fudge is calling that. So they're gonna have to back up a bit and not go for the dive. It's fine, though. C9 bot lane is winning really hard. So Jensen was losing lane, but that kills made it so he's ahead. Ripo's not doing bad in this lane. It's kind of hard to take it. He doesn't have flash, and he, he used his war jump already. And Kalista has ult, so... Nice E by Whippo there. This matchup's kind of annoying for Renekton, because Gragas just negates everything Renekton wants to do. Bro, this Gragas champ is so annoying for him. Ooh, Blabber. Got Lee Sin kick, not bad. So Bot is really behind. Talk to me, C9. Talk to me. Talk to me. How are we closing this one out? All right, so Drake's up in 15. Jensen, no flash, not bad. Top situation is good for Fly. But C9 are going to take Grubbies. They're going to be on 6, and they should be in time to fight Drake. Because if they're dropping this Drake, they're crazy. Berserker doesn't have Blade yet. Lee Sin has base and both Eclipse. Hmm, what's Fly's option? I mean, I think Fly's option is fast push bot. Lee Sin comes towards mid, tries to soft contest Drake or find some info and maybe try to punish Talia. They can push bot and find their way up and try and poke them out, so they have to catch, and then they should be able to start dragon, I think, fly quest. Now the question is, does C9 fight it? I think Vi is a little bit late. Jojo zoned from mid bot side. What is TP from Gregas is a bit crazy. But he can maybe get a good flank, but he's on vision. Oh, Inspired might die here. Oh, they didn't have any damage created. Jojo lives. Nice Senna ult, doesn't hit though. Oh my god, Whippo stole Drake. <laughs> yes, no flash though. Whippo stole Drake with E. Oh, the map, I hate it. On the second Drake, the map goes crazy. Whippo's TP was really good. They commit on the Inspired. They used Vi ult, Gragas ult, and Renata ult, uh, Kalisa ult, sorry, on the Lee Sin. Renata ult was kind of useless because Rennington just runs away. And Jojo's forced out, right? So it's basically a 4v4. Fudge is uh, not able to really zone backline. And uh, C9 got way too chunked. Fortunate here for Holy fuck, Renekton E stealing a, a dragon? Again. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, well, Kalista has blade now. Uh, I think C9 just though. has to play through bot again. Does he need to continue playing through bot? Oh, inspired, nice Q. No, nice Big punish through mid. It's a shame that Karma got the kill. I just think that Karma's not going to be... I don't know, maybe she will be useful. Berserk didn't play for plates. Bot goes towards mid. EU Lee Sin, baby. Actually, EU top jungle mid. Wait, hold up, wait. FlyQuest is just team EU. Busio is also half Polish, isn't he? Right, so Fly is basically EU. So this is basically EU and A. Hell yeah, we got an international right, event on. Masu is Indian. Vi, so right, so where in, where in Europe is India? Can you break that down for me? I think these teams are threats to G2. 
Uh, I'll know in a few a games. I don't know. Is now one of the I mean, G2 lost to Rogue today, so it's not really so that hard to be better than G2, is it? Right so, Fly have two Drakes. Ocean Soul isn't the best. So Biggest threat to Fly Quest, play obviously, play is Kalista, and Kalista is mid to control the map. Fly should have two decent side lanes, though, because I think Huey Lee Sin beats Talia 2v1 with even if Vizer 2v2, they win. They win 2v2 top, they win 1v1 bot. They should have pushing sides, but they can't so play through mid. Is Jojo going to get caught here? Doesn't have flash yet. He's going to go to blue buff. Drake's in 50, so I think what will happen here is... I'm surprised Jensen's basing. He should just push this wave base, come out mid, uh, bot side, take blue buff with Lee Sin. can catch bot, they're going to reset as well. Four man base, everyone's out on the map. And then good setup for Fly. Whereas Jojo needs to base now, so he's a little bit late. And uh, yeah, C9 should be first to bot side river, because Kalista run out of state. No Renata has redemption, Jesus. And now Fly needs to walk in and retake Vision. So yeah. Alright, here we go, Dragon Fight. This is probably the biggest, uh, <laughs> the, the most important part of the game so far. Whippo, of course, he starts it up. Master should queue him to heat him up a bit. So they're losing midwaves here, because Jojo keeps pushing mid if you see him on the mid-map. So this is the second midwave Fly is going to lose, so they kind of need to force it. Talia ult can split them down the middle here, so they need to be careful of that. Karma Senna might get zoned away from Rennington soon. And Whippo being tanking this dragon is really bad for him. Oh, Jensen didn't think. He finds Jensen and forces the flashback of Renata's the wall. also inting though. Make sure their mid laner stays How did Jensen get caught and then Berserker still on the almost dies? They want to maintain control over the Drake for Fly Quest, but they ain't gonna do it. The hostile take over flies out, and Fudge might just drop the spiraling despair. Oh, Fudge just won. Inspire playing for the smite. They should get soul here. Wow. How is Jensen getting caught and then C9 the ones losing? They're gonna lose mid tier 2 here maybe. They have 6 scrubbies. Alright. Not too shabby. Masu is level 8, yeah I can see that. Yeah it doesn't really matter that he's level 8. 65 souls, yeah it's okay. Not the worst. 66 souls, not bad. C9 is trying to play for bot tier 1. Like I don't know if they're getting this bot tier one though. So well they Maybe they so are. Well spread out. There was no Fly is kind of scared of defending it. The Why are they so scared of defending it? Just run and run and clear the wave. Maybe they were trying to hope for a phase check. And I just think if Whippo doesn't show on the wave, so maybe they get false Berserker confidence and walk in. Really yeah, Inspire's been trying to make this pick happen a lot. Labra's up here now, but I think 2v2... I don't know, actually, it's kind of even. But Renata's here, so... Inspire just wanted to do a bit of damage. C9's Baron finish is pretty good with Kalista. She has really good items for a Baron force. But time is... Uh, Fly's best friend, they're on soul points for the rest of the game, so and Dragon's spawning at 40. So they are being chilling. So they're being chilling, waiting for a Dragon here. fight, or uh, they're the, waiting the for a... I mean, I guess... Fly quest Baron damage uh, is a bit shit, so they kind of just need a... They just need a, a Dragon fight, that's it. They can't really force Nash. They have no turn. And they have no damage. Dragon's gone. Oh my god, the bug, the ward is stuck in the wall. Yeah, Fly needs to go Baron. Go Baron, 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 Or mid tier one. Only things you can do. Lee Sin got stuck in the wall because the ward was in the wall. He W'd and got pushed over it. They're going to lose bot tier one though, so... What happens? They trade kill for dragon and they trade towers. Yeah, not the best. Not the best for Fly. The game stalls, but I guess maybe the game stalling out is not the worst. Why is Jojo down here? Yeah, Jojo kind of ending there a bit. Masu had 60 souls at like 16 minutes in D. So you're telling me in almost 10 minutes he's gotten 18 souls? What's been going on with this Senna? This Senna is now fucking useless. Man, Inspired is perma covering through top. This Senna is really far behind. But I mean, she scales really well, right? But she's just not scaling right now. Chat, reset the chat. Everyone spam PPX. People are being degenerates. Chat is extra degenerate today. So mid gold is pretty even, tops even, jungles even, it's just bot, there's a bit of a discrepancy. 2k. Yeah, they have no way they can kill this Gragas. So now collapsing bot. And that karma damage is quite low. Cosmic drive karma. Oh, Q flash. 
Clean play by Blabber, really clean. Alright, can they force Nash off that? Q flash into combo. Wow, they're not going Baron. They just use they just use Vi flash one minute before Soul. And they're not getting off it. Not getting enough of it. That is a Suko Mucho. T1? Yeah, bro. T I can tell you for a fact T1 would have ran to that Baron and Insta started it. I mean, Fly can look for Baron start here. I think face checking bot side looks a bit scary. The way you play sequences like this... Well, they're going to contest midwave and try and force their way in. But I think they should contest midwave and go up. What is that Gregas doing? He's tanky as fuck, that Gregas. Oh, what a kick! What a kick by Inspired. Holy fuck, EU boys are carrying. Holy fuck, the EU boys, baby, EU boys, EU boys. Oh, get Jojo. Wait, that's bugged. How did Lee not follow the Talia there? Ocean Soul and Baron to fly now. The wall CC team? Yeah, it looked like it. Fly Quest, baby. Really nice team fighting by uh, Fly Quest. Look at how long Whippo CC Knocked, 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 knocked. knocked, knocked. And then they all okay, I'm free. Whippo, but he on the Triple kick was crazy. Uh, Jojo soul, might wall so here to slow them down, but he doesn't have wall yet. Oh, Whippo died. Inspired kick was really good. But he didn't flash out. Wow. And no way did they throw it. Uh, they can't end. They can't end. But what is FlyQuest doing? But they get Min and him. So FlyQuest just threw the game back. They're up 100 gold still though. So that's pretty big. 200 gold. How did they throw that chat? So Renekton is trying to hit the tower. Which is kind of in. I don't know why they're playing for mid tier 3. All they had to do was play for top tier 2. Top tier 3 guys. One person bases. Push south bot. They push it up to the 4 man keep mid push. And then they clap and take tier 2. It's... It's... Why? Why? Why are we sieging tier 3s? Really it's really the easy. It Why are they trying to get a tier 3? It's so greedy. It's actually Whippo. Whippo comes are like, No, they're inting. No, we can hit the tower. No. Oh, they're inting. <laughs> Whippo's so funny. <laughs> Whippo's so funny. Every time he thinks something's good, he's like, Oh, they're inting. No. <laughs> it's so funny. He's got so much confidence, that guy. Well, I'm not, meaning, I'm not insulting him. I'm just, that's how he talks. It's so funny. Like, listening to Whippo in comms is so epic. Uh, it's not flame. I'm just saying that's how he talks and it's great. Uh, he plays with so much confidence. Like, that guy plays like he has 10 teammates behind him. And he must have learned it from Hilly. Like, Hilly does that as well. He's like, Hilly does the same. Hilly's like, guys, they're, they're giving it. They're giving it. They're inting. They're inting. <laughs> it's like 1v5. No, they're giving it. <laughs> Weaver's wall comes out, but it doesn't weave a whole lot. He got knocked off Blabber and Nexting. Oh, Bibbo. Whippo has managed to find Jojo, and he's looking to oh, Bibbo. him out before the rest of the fight even starts. Bibbo, don't die, don't die, Bibbo, don't die, Bibbo. <laughs> what? Bibbo's so tanky. Oh, that kick flash was clean. Oh, and another Q. Don't take it. Just Q and more jump away. Uh. Oh, this Hui is doing so much damage. Bro, Inspired and Whippo are smurfing these fights. Whippo has caught Jojo like twice now. Whippo is fucking smurfing. Now watch this kick flash from Inspired. Look at this. Look at this kick flash. <laughs> kicked Gragas, flash to the side, and then cued the Vi. Holy fuck, this game is crazy. All right, Elder Flip. Send everything in there. What do we got? Blabber, just trying to, trying Blabber can steal, steal it. Fudge has TP, but Berserker's dead. Inspired ain't there yet. They don't have Kalista. Oh, in Blabber's in there. He, he might need to queue out, though. And now he needs to queue back in. But the cooldown's like four seconds, maybe? He has Blast Cone as well. Are they going to try and flip it? Inspired needs Vision of Vi. He needs to queue, war jump out, kick or some shit. Oh, he's being... Oh, my God. They entered it. They got it. C9 went way too far back. Jojo, yet again. Jensen, now 
And it's GG now, I think. Oh, that Mantra Q does so much damage. Rippo. Get him, boy, get him. They can end top. They need to clear top wave. If they don't clear top wave... Ah, it's over. FlyQuest wins. Does FlyQuest win? I don't think they... Did they win? 30 seconds? Yeah, they win, I think. They have Gragas ult, though. And they have no wave. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he ulted them. He needs to, like, run up and around or something. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over. I don't know why he ulted the champions away. Could have saved it for the wave, but yeah, I think it would be over anyway. Damn, this series is going to be a crazy one, chat. This series is going to be a crazy one. All right, I'm going to get hyped for the next game then. Okay. Okay, I see it. This series is going to be a bit wild. Ripple hovering Kaiser for his girlfriend. Classic. K-Drill, and there's a rat face. Oh my god. Mom, I made it to playoffs. Uh, All right, let's band Oriana, Kalista, Hue, TF, Nico, Ari. Wow, there's a lot of mid lane bands. Talia, Pryo is through the roof. They're gonna pick Karma. Why are they playing Karma? They're gonna do Karma Zinzao, Karma Zinzao, Karma Brown, Karma Rel, Renata. Ui, I don't like Renata here. I don't like Varus, Renata into Nautilus lanes. I just feel like they're way too volatile, and I just don't think it benefits you. Here, I think they can just pick mid. So I don't know what mid options Jojo has. I'm gonna just soft lock Talia here. Is Azir trash on this patch? Nah, Azir is disabled. Ka. Oh, Yone is kind of pog. Yeah, here I think they ban uh, blind tops against Bibbo. And they pick jungle on four. I think Rel is such a good pick. Does Blabber play Rel? I don't know, man. Rel is so good here. Sejuani is also really good here with Yone. Does Bibbo play Yone chat? Is it a flex? Blabber Rel is terrible. Well, it doesn't matter. Rel, Maokai, Sejuani, they all do the same thing. As long as he can play one of them, their four pick is sorted. No, Bibbo doesn't play it. Oh, no, Fudge, sorry. Why did I say Bibbo? Uh, can Fudge play Yone? Bro, what's wrong with you? I don't know, K. I don't know. What would you ban? I would ban against uh, against Bipo, I'd ban Rennington Jax. And on the Faust blue side here, I'd ban if Ree can't play Rel, I'd ban Maokai Sejuani. And then he's probably left with Rel. And if Blabber really can't play Rel, then he's playing Rel on four. And then if I'm uh, FlyQuest, I guess I just blind Nar Zin. But this Jax ban, nah, there's no way they fix Zin here, right? I would ban Sejuani here for sure. Otherwise, it's completely in. They are forced into Rel or top blind. It's just and counter jungle, to, and then you go. Like you can, um, why did they ban Cassante? Yeah, that makes no sense. Right, why they ban so Cassante? Oh my like god, top, man! Like but this Yone needs one thing, yeah. and it's Sejuani or Rel. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of where I expect now they're gonna play Karma Zin into here. Yone Sejuani. Um, Does Bipo play Nar? Yeah. Nah, he plays Aatrox, right? Having Probably Aatrox or Nar. And then on last pick here, I don't know what they pick last pick. What's good last pick into Aatrox in I mean, is it a Malphite game? Nah, it's probably bad. Maybe not another rumble game either. Maybe it's a rumble game actually. Is Smolder mega nerfed on this patch? No, it's 14-5. Malphite or rumble is mega good, but they pick Gragas, so I guess rumble's better. I think Gragas versus Malphite is probably a bit hard. C9 on the draft. Uh, yeah, C9 draft went pretty good there actually. C9 draft went pretty good. God, that's annoying. They're weaving into the bush and out of the bush so they don't get minion aggro. Vulcan finds the dredge line there. The in Berserker now backing up versus that. Oh, this lane is tough, huh? Uh, so when we but the Nautilus lane is really volatile. Where you are playing, you know, Maybe they can play around it uh, with Sejuani. But Sejuani is pathing top for some reason. Maybe it's because she doesn't expect to get bot push. And she wants a crab. So she could clear the top, go mid to bot. Would work. Can their bot lane get dove is the question, chat. Can C9 bot lane get dove? No, they can't. Since I was way too far, right? What's the game score? It's 1-0 to FlyQuest right now. So they're just going to push and take a cheater. All right. Renata hovers mid to cover. I'm surprised Jensen is leaning topside a little bit. Is the loser out? No, the loser will play Team Liquid next week. And then the winner of that will play the winner of this. And that's the finals, basically, right? So there's three teams left. Team Liquid's in the lower bracket final. This is the upper bracket final. Winner goes to finals. Nice base from Whippo. Avoiding getting dove. Oh, Bot Kingdom. Does he die to Ignite? No, he doesn't. No way. That's so unlucky. He has TP as well. Oh yeah, the winner of this goes to MSI actually, chat. It's true. The winner of this series locks MSI. Crazy, no? Winner goes to MSI. It'll be the first team locked to MSI, whoever wins this. Oh, G2's locked? Oh yeah, true. What am I saying? G2's already locked, my bad. Well, the good news is NRG can't make NSI. Wow, they're really contesting these grubbies, huh? 
I kind of want FlyQuest to win. But I do want C9 at MSI. I want both these teams to be at MSI. Because then, chat, think about it. If FlyQuest beats G2, we can plausibly, plausible divide deniability. And three of them are European anyway. So, you know, when NRG beat G2, we couldn't say shit. They're 5 NA. Or 4 NA and Ignar. This time around, three EU. And uh, Polish support, four. Now, 3.5 EU. Like, nice so my cope well. is good. And I have ammunition. Ooh, he blabber. Wait, blabber got it. Oh my god, he W'd on the Inspired Smite. Crazy how Yone is winning Very this lane. Nice it's like, what the hell? Yeah, C9 have basically got two winning lanes in solo lanes. Not good for fly. It's okay, Bookwise TP soon. But yeah, 200 gold, 300 gold lead mid, 300 gold lead top. Here comes the dive. Can they dive him? Oh, nice ult. Nice ult from Ripo. Now he base in TPs. Oh, they missed ult on Berserker. He sidestepped it. Oh, W flash from Inspired was clean. Wow, Busio is really lucky to get out there. Nice W flash. C9 will have six grubs. Six grubs is pretty good. But uh, yeah, they missed Varasult and Renata flash Q on the center. And Busio should have died here, to be honest. It was quite badly played by FlyQuest. Wait, is Nukeduck the FlyQuest coach? Was that Nukeduck? Wait, Nukeduck and Mithy are the coaches of the number one and number two LCS teams? The old Lemon Dogs boys from season four? <laughs> That's crazy. Eleven years ago, Mithy and Nukeduck, same team, playing at Worlds. Eleven years later, they're coaching the top two teams in the LCS. You want Yapa to make MSI so you can see his old chat? That would be pretty good. Bro, the T1 fans would eat him alive if he wrote an old chat to Faker. So they've swapped for Herald. Pretty good by Fly to swap. It's kind of weird though. Jensen's mid. Lane assignments are really weird. Ooh, those wards are sneaky. They have uh, no TP on Bupo yet though. But Herald should be up by the time he has TP. Um, where it as long is, as Jensen no doesn't get caught, FlyQuest is fine. Some nice plates over to Mass. Ooh. Are they dropping Herald? Really what are they doing? Why is Varus basing? Varus and no has no blade. Ugh, FlyQuest lane assignment now is really weird. They put their bot lane mid, which is good, but the Varus didn't base, right? So he doesn't have blade, and I guess they're fighting without blade, or they're just dropping it. 40 souls on Senna is disgustingly bad. So they drop Herald. Whippo pushes out bot, gets the cannon with ult. <laughs> Look at Varus' boots. Yeah, I see them. I see them, buddy. How much work can this Yone do in fights? Yone Rumble Sedge quite strong. So double Knight's Foul, one on Senna, one on Yone, I guess. Uh, seems like the Drake whole in 130. Varus really mm. is pretty strong now. Well, I think Rumble uh, has to carry the next fight. I think Rumble uh, can right, definitely carry the next fight. If he has good engage. The they should have good really engage. Really Who's better? Yankos or Inspired? I mean, I think Yankos is better. I think Yankos is the best in Europe right now. At this moment in time. He's the best performing jungler in the league so far, I think. I think in Spring Split, Razork Yike were really good. Yalyoya was good. This split, so far, this split total, I think... Yankos has been the best. The nice chunk out, but Vulcan has no TP, so C9's gonna have I mean, to give up Drake. C9's gonna try and he cross map top tier one. Whippo has TP. Yeah, Maybe Jensen baits it. Yeah. Wow, he TP's very early to defend this. This Senna is 57 stacks in 19 minutes. What? Trimby had almost 100 by now. Does he get this blue buff also? Let's see. Inspire's trying to stay oh, in Whippo. Comes in over the top of the body, slamming Berserker Rise is ult. Now Busio's oh, Renato ult's really good. Hostile takeover over the top, but it only finds Blabber. Vulcan's still trying to get away, but the Equalizer puts the damage on... Jojo needs to ult out. Jojo, with a paint seal, tries to get himself Pull back, back into out. the belly. Another beautiful nice hook on the E. Coming out from the first Bro, the fly boys are flying. Let's go, fly quest boys. And he's able to use the soul inbound, avoid the hostile takeover. Busio, you have flash, cut. Busio trying to flash away from this Ooh. one. A lot of damage comes out. But nice Varus ult, nice Varus Q. You missed your Edo. Masu. Masu, oh my god. Now. That Sejuani should have died for sure. See if they can keep this fight going. Jensen, oh, Varus big oh, damage from the EU boy. Big old belly We're all missing everything. Masu, you got that guy at least? Alright, thank god. 
So Busio flies, flashes away, but uh, Blabber missed his W2, but I don't think Busio would have died anyway. Masu walks through and cues through Blabber and hits Berserker as well, so that was smart. But he missed his E slow on Blabber. Fucking hell, karma damage is crazy, isn't it, Chad? 50 CS lead mid though, so the gold is not that, not that bad for C9. I mean, look at the experience as well. Jojo's gonna be level 15 soon. Uh, no one's really CSing well other than Jojo, so C9 are pretty fine. If Jojo can get IE, I think he's gonna smack everyone. Oh, Inspire's in trouble, but Jojo's getting kind of one shot here. Wow, massive shutdown to Jensen. Oi, Whippo. Oh, the bailout. Is it Baron Angle? He's too damn wide. Wow. I mean, Fly clears this game now. This Varus is untouched every fight. Karma as well. Whippo is so tanky in the front line. Look at him, he's taking Tower Aggro as well. Nuke Duck loves that shit. Nice TP out here, dead of the West. I think FlyQuest is good. Yeah, I think FlyQuest is good. I haven't watched many FlyQuest games, but I think their bot lane is a little bit weak. I'm worried for FlyQuest at internationals. Playing against like Elk and On, uh, Gumayushi Carrier. I think they're gonna get a bit smashed. Like Ruler missing, Jackie Love, Mako. Like I think they're gonna get smashed in bot. In lane phase. If they can get through lane, they're fine. Ooh, Bippo's tanking. He's a tanky boy. Wow, a 26 minute win. Five seconds on Jojo. Oh my god, these mantra cues. Bippo's maybe dead here. But Bippo is so tanky. What is that? He can't get a single kill. C9. Oh, Whippo. Whippo is cracking heads. This Yone looks useless. Wow. FlyQuest are frying. Wide Whippo, baby. Whippo and Inspired are going crazy this series. Ah, oh, Whippo, what a nice teammate. Jensen is also doing his job really well. His lane phase hasn't been exceptional, but his, his positioning and his, his team fights have been really good. C9 chose red side. Ari, Nico, blue side, bends. Ooh, Lucian ban. They're forcing a Senna ban here. They are surely first picking a mid here. Smolder first pick? Nah, I don't think they're gonna first pick Smolder. Yeah, Orianna first pick makes sense. I think Smolder Zeri is what's gonna get picked this game. Okay, it looks like Sinan's gonna take Zeri. Zeri Maokai is really good. I think for sure they have to take Nautilus here somewhere. They could do Kai'Sa Nault. They could do Aatrox Nautilus. They could do Smolder Nautilus. They need Nautilus no matter what, because they need lockdown on Zeri, right? Wait, Vi's open. Wait, what the fuck? Vi's open. Hello. They've got some really good jungle options here, though. They can play Rel. Nocturne and Vi. So they have Rel Nocturne. They have it's Kaisa or Smolder. 100. percent They have three junglers they can drop. They can't drop AD. And then if they do that, then I guess they can go Zeri Brown, or they can go Zeri Lulu, or they can drop support and uh, pick like a safe pick. Like for example, if you're scared of dropping mid here, you can play Hui Talia Ari. Just depends. You either pick support. I think Brown Lulu is good, but Lulu against this is not that good. Uh, or any support like Rel maybe is good as well oh Ari's banned yeah you're right so they could do Hue Talia or they could do uh Rel yeah Alistar is fine I guess Alistar is fine so that means on the 4-5 here they have Vi Rel and uh Nocturne for sure some easy picks so I think FlyQuest draft not bad so far not bad at all yeah there's Vi ban yeah classic and now what I would what I would personally do here is I would ban Jace and uh like Yone or Tristana whatever he plays because they're playing Maokai jungle and if they're playing actually would I ban that Talia is kind of annoying okay yeah they're gonna do the Tristana I can see why they have AP jungle and uh Rumble might be a good five pick for them again 
like they showed it in game two. So I think taking away AD mids is actually quite nice. Renekton ban. Yeah, I would stick with the AD mids bans, whatever you think Jojo can play. Uh, the problem is, yeah, JC on a Trist. I think you can't cover them all off. That's the problem. But I think they did the correct thing. The Renekton ban just hurts the blind, right? But what has Whippo got blind if they forfeit Yone in top? Is he gonna go Aatrox? You could do like Rel Aatrox here. Would be pretty good. You could do Nocturne Orn if you want to be really fancy and let them play Aatrox on five. Just means you drop sides a bit too much. Lee Sin. Oh, they're gonna do Lee Sin Gragas. I think Lee Sin is not the best angle. I think Lee Sin's not the best angle. They're gonna do Lee Sin Gragas for sure. Whippos looks like his. Uh, I think you need Gragas with Lee Sin. Perfect. And now I don't know what you last picked up. I don't know what Fudge plays. You definitely don't pick Gwen. Gwen into Gragas is a horror, isn't it? Okay, all that's a bit better. Keeping Fudge in check. Yeah, no, I think Whippo is the best player to keep Fudge in check. Surely Whippo won't run it down, right? Well, he's kind of anything already. But he has phase rush Gragas, so hopefully he's alright. Boy, Jojo's trading pretty good. I actually think Jojo's been rolling Jensen in lane. But out of lane, Jensen's Jensen been doing well. Like, oh, what else rolling? I guess rolling makes it sound like he's been getting solo killed. But I think Jojo's been out laning. It's going to be cursed. So good, Why do I feel like Jensen's going to die at the first he blood in the next like minute? Uh, to be able to get out Such a of curse. a lot of these melee ganks that they're going to throw his way as Whippo also face checks. Yeah, Whippo does not really want to be here any longer. Undertow Whippo, hits you're, hits such a, you're such a psycho. Yeah, yeah, I've maybe. noticed that this Gragas matchup, Olaf matchup, I actually don't think it's that bad early. Like early, you have face rush and you can proc it quite easy. But obviously, like post six, it can be really annoying if you fuck up. But your face rush is like your way of just making this matchup really even. It sounds a lot worse than it is, I think. Like, oh my god, Olaf can ult on you and your spells don't do anything. Yeah, but if you don't waste your E and you have face rush proc at the right time, you're kind of okay. Oh, Vulcan cancel the base. Oh, massive ghost. Oh, Ibusio missed hook. That was a horror. That would have been really big chunk on the Vulcan there. Uh, that hook you know, hit, they would have chunked him like fuck. They have Ignite. Yeah, the winner of this goes to MSI. Um, like, Whippo just wasted E there, right? That's when Olaf can trade hard. Okay, right. wave crashes. Whippo's happy. Like, Jensen no could have died there, I think. First grub, but C9 now oh my god, inspired! Oh my god, Whippo! He just wanted to smite it with Q. Jack out here paying the grubs. Oh, really? Wait, that's the first grub they got all series? What the fuck? That's so weird. Jensen needs to fast push this in base. I wouldn't be surprised just fucking oop the shit, I don't know. Well, they don't need to be Oriana. This is a really risky Drake from Inspired because his mid laner needs to base. Looks like he's got bot push though. Kind of getting away with murder that the fly is getting this Drake. It's completely criminal that they're getting this Drake. Wait, Whippo's here. What the fuck is Whippo doing here? Crazy that there's a Gregas here. Whippo classic just roams. Yo, Jojo, enemy mid has had jungle and top around so many times. Oh, well, I think Lucio might be dead here. He tries to walk away. Line back on the Alistar. Vulcan gets out, and it's first blood over to C9 bot lane's doing well. So we need six on Nautilus against Zeri, so you can engage or disengage. Gives you way more options. Lucky they didn't get hit by the knockup here, Masu. Good hex flash here and look for Lucio. Yeah, top's pretty even, actually. Purple's kind of chilling. He has TP as well soon. Also, Gragas having tier 2 boots, I think he can never die right now. Like, Olaf's playing. Uh, Vamp up to null magic and uh, Gragas has tier 2 boost phase rush he's un uncatchable Ooh, he didn't get the root if he got the root maybe they would kill there does Nautilus just level up no he doesn't yeah Busio might die again here oh he flashed the Q Vulcan shouldn't have Q'd he should have saved it Berserker Zeri is really good this is quite well played there but they're gonna look for Jojo Inspired knows there's no soul unbound. Fate sealed though. Okay, he got the ult out of Yonek. Man, yeah. Inspired is really playing around mid very well. He's covering Jensen so much. I think if he hits Q here, Jensen, he kills him. So yeah, Jojo has to base. Unleash TP. Can he chunk him a bit? Oh, he sees a Knight's Vow. Phase rush proc'd. Doesn't get the cannon. Lost chapter proc on the level up. Blavra's walking together, but they're on a ward. Grubby's going over to fly. Should be 4 to 2. And 
and then, yeah, as long as Busio doesn't die, not bad. Lee seems gonna lose maybe red buff. Whoa, why is he hooking in? Need to chill out a bit, because Jensen needs the base right now. I don't know what Busio is doing this game. It's gonna be a lot harder than he wanted it to be. He stays alive for now. Blaver throws out the ulti. Berserker has no ult actually. Maybe it's good for Fly. Oh, he kicked the Alistar. Flash. Yeah. I don't know what Busio is doing. I don't know what Busio is doing this game. Drake's in 30. I mean, Fly should be in time to fight the Drake. Is that FBI on the right? TP in from Whippo. Fudge just TP2. <laughs> there goes the dragon C9 fight. The Drake. In the pit. Zeri Zap comes over the top. Oh, he kicks him out and cues it. The nice secure there by Inspired. Do they win the fight though? C9. Looks just like no. Shockwave's good. C9's gonna Resets roll them, I think though. Now drops next. Yeah. Like this is game four. C9. That's game four, Fao Shao. Berserker's a machine. Yeah, I mean, the bot cap this game is crazy. Whippo E flashed onto Alistar. I think bot cap this game was crazy. I don't think draft's a huge deal. I mean, Yone Maokai was really good this game. Bot cap this game is kind of hard, kind of, kind of wild. How's Whippo been doing? Whippo's been doing pretty good this series, but yeah, he kind of whiffed that fight. Jensen has no mana though. Oh, they miss Q. Jojo trying to get away from it. The Nautilus ulti. Oh, Jojo just rolled them. This is Yone. This is... This is Yone. Oh He's my god, he almost rolled okay, them. Okay, he finally drops. He finally drops. I was... I was really Jojo almost smoked them all. Yeah, but I don't think Fly can win this game. Uh, that was this well game looks so hard to win. Zeri 5 0. She's almost two items, 16 minutes. Yeah, exactly. it's all because of Kaisa doesn't they really do the have there, and then they end up an easy game against Maokai Olaf Alistar. Yeah, it's going to take her a while to get items to burn through that. Maybe if Leeson can kick the Zeri, but yeah, with Nautilus ult, maybe. The Gragas will be like useful, I think. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's hard for Olaf to really do anything against him. It's just annoying. Look how annoying Gragas is with blue buff. But yeah, this game is the Berserker show, I think. Jojo won't be. I mean, Jojo will be like the second line of damage, but yeah, Berserker needs to die if Fly want to win this game. Gragas such a chill champ. Crazy that Gragas just walks up and takes Olaf's tower. Yeah, Chemtech Soul is kind of useless. Doesn't really need. Fly doesn't really need to fight it. The Tenacity is quite nice, though. The here they go on to Jojo, the but I don't think they're going to get a kill here in any world. Oh, that was insane, actually. They got him before he could react to anything. Oh my god, Vulcan fucked up his combo a bit there. Nice ult. Holy fuck, FlyQuest teamfighting. Oh, he flash hooked him. What an insane hook. Oh my god. FlyQuest mechanics in that fight were, were insane. Whippo's E flash insanely catches Jojo off guard. Then Vulcan whiffs the flash combo. And then the cask knocks in the Maokai. And then the Nautilus flash hooks the Zeri. Like it was pixel perfect by everyone. What a fight by Fly. But I think C9 butchered that fight really hard. C9 butchered that fight really hard. Look at this. So Jojo, I thought was fine here because he has Q3. Uh, he has flash, sorry. So I thought he was going to flash here. But E flash instantly. Oriana ult dead. So then I thought Inspired's dead here probably, but Nautilus ult comes out onto Blabber. Fudge has to disengage. Vulcan fucks the combo. Berserker misses ult, and then the Krask knocks Blabber back in. And then this flash hook from Busio re- Oh my god. I think Berserker thought that wasn't gonna hit him. Oh, we're back. Blabber's maybe gonna die here. Flashes out, TP in from Oriana. They need to catch bot here, Bupo. Whippo and FlyQuest need to get down to bot side. Now, this doesn't get FlyQuest a win. They've almost evened up the game. But uh, yeah, that gets them back in the game a little bit. It gets them back in the game a little bit. So, Fly have regained a bit of control through top side. Whippo is actually, like, really impressive this game. Whippo is, like, controlling the Olaf a lot, despite the Olaf being pretty strong. He's catching waves, pushing Olaf in. Olaf doesn't really have any side threat this game. I think he has a pretty good champ to do it. Like, I think Gragas face rush is with CDR is so good against Olaf, actually. I take it back. It just feels hard for Olaf to really do much. Oh, shit. Well, that might be GG. Let's see how the fight goes. Oh, Bip was dead. Oh, he has Zonyas. Oh, and he flashed to the side. Oh, and the kick was insane. The R flash. Oh, my God. This fight was again pixel perfect. 
Whippo goes in. Zonyas is there engage. Flashes to the side. Then Inspired comes in after the engage because they use their spells on the Zonyas. Kicks flashes the Zeri. Northless ult flashes as well to knock up quick. And then they shockwave everyone. That was pixel perfect. That was pixel perfect. That was insanely clean. Wow. Wow, what a fight. That was, that was amazing. Bwipo goes in. Like, this hook was just a poke, but Bwipo goes in, and he zonias their spells, right? And because he zonias their spells, Lee Sin is freed up. Look here. Bwipo goes in. Alistar combo. Maokai W. Zonias. Now, who can CC Lee Sin? Who? No one. So when he comes out, he flashes the Yone ult, and now Lee Sin has no one to CC him. Flash kicks the Zeri. Nautilus R flash instantly as well. All grouped together. Bang. That was incredible. He says Fly can't win this game. Yeah, and this is just execution right here. S Zeri was 5-0 with Mao Kailistar by her side. But FlyQuest have just outplayed the hell out of them in two fights. I mean, huge respect to Fly. So well played. Like on paper, I think C9 were really strong, but damn, FlyQuest team fighting has been really, really on point. I mean, drafts can only get you so far, right? And like game states can only get you so far. You can have Mountain Soul, you can have 8k gold leads, you can have this and that, but like execution is the core component of everything. And uh, yeah, Fly executes way better. Oh, they're frustrated engaging here. C9 are engaging out of frustration, I think. They're all trying to flash on someone on midwave. They're losing mid tower, they're losing bot tower. Wow. This has been a really fun game. Like, Whippo, like. Whippo is so good, I think. 3 0 fun OME. It's not about the score. Just like, I don't know, when you see things come together so well. It's, it's like, almost like just items. absolute cinema, right? It's like a choreographed dance, you know? You just, for, it's so you know, executed very so well. It's quite shift, nice to see, so it's like, quality league, you know? Which is so the game has slowed down a bit. Big they have a 4.5k gold lead, but Dragon's up in 120. They're only on two Drakes, right? So this next Dragon doesn't really do anything. So maybe C9 are just going to stall for a bit now. Try and get some more items on Zeri. Baron is obviously what they're going to have to try and stall. Force of Nature, Olaf. Really so Fly in this series, can man. get a free Drake if they want. The I'll be surprised if Hook Ignite. Oh, they forced Olaf ult. That's really good. Now that, what does that do? That reduces the pressure on Orianna a lot. And they missed the Oni ult as well. Oh, the execution from C9 is really bad right now. They missed a lot of ults, but they haven't landed onto Zeri yet. So it's not completely over. Oh, Bwipo, where are you going? He's using himself as a, a ward for Inspired. Oh, Blabber sneaking out of vision to try and live. Oh, this is a fun game, I think. Maybe they'll get the yeah, mid tier 3. So, Whippo smartly isn't over grouping. He's setting up top wave so they can get top tier 2 after, or they can move the Drake. So, he's giving them options here, Whippo. His team can now either rotate top and take the tower, or they can rotate the Drake, or they can go to Dragon Nash and have use top wave. So, yeah, it was good by Whippo not to overgroup there. So, now Jojo has to catch. He shows. It's free Baron. C9 might run to Drake, but I don't think the Drake really matters too much. I mean, I think it's been a, a really. I think it's been a top a top gap and uh, yeah Inspired's made a lot of mistakes, but his positioning on the map early game was really good to cover Jensen, who's been playing very like consistent, I think. I think Fly topside just better, I think. I don't think Bot has been that much better. They played the, the Renata lane really well, though. The Varus Renata lane, they played well. They made some mistakes, but topside top side is probably where the biggest gap is. And the Bot lane mechanics in fights were good. Their lane was a bit sketchy sometimes. Also, I don't like Jojo on Yone. I think I much prefer Jojo on Talia. Or like a mage. I think uh, Fly's drafting in the series has actually shut down Jojo a lot. They ban Ari Nico most games, and then they first pick Orianna. I think that's really hurting Jojo. He plays Yone, and they have to play like AP jungler, and then yeah, I just think the impact is really low. Inspired's fine. Oh, Bipo's dead here. Zonyas can maybe flash out. They use Maokai ult for that. Bipo has TP. Is Bipo gonna TP mid here and secure and set up the wave for his team to move into? No. Looks like they're gonna call the playoff then. They have a really big bot wave that would be nice to buff up. Like, that bot wave is so nice to buff right there to force tier 3 bot. Would be a shame to let that go. Oh, Bipo's dead now. 
C9 again. Trying to focus on the alive still. Oh, the kick flash on the Berserker straight into the Nautilus was beautiful. Like, that was so good by Inspired. He saw Berserker for one second, instantly gets him into the team. Ah, it's over. Wow. Berserker's had flash in these fights, but it doesn't matter. Inspired is just there. He is just hitting them. I mean, yeah, super well played by Inspired. What a game. That was a really good mechanical masterclass. Really well played by Fly. So, Fly Quest lock MSI. Wait, didn't FlyQuest contest the title before with Santorin? I swear they did, right? This isn't the FlyQuest fi first finals, is it? FlyQuest are good, FlyQuest are good. Inspired's good. That was really fun. I like that a lot. LCS is fun. LCS is really fun. 